Hello friends, in last video, we had discussed about the scope of FarmD in India. In this video, we will be discussing about one of the prominent scope of FarmD in Canada. Canada is a country where so many people are migrating from all across the globe and FarmD graduates have lucrative opportunities in Canada after successful completion of FarmD in any country in the world. In Canada, if one need to register for pharmacist, there is a certain procedure which we need to follow. Today, we will be discussing step-by-step -step procedure to get registered in Canada as a pharmacist and can grab the lucrative opportunity in Canada with the high salary packages. To get registered in Canada as a pharmacist, one need to first obtain the national ID. Now this national ID can be obtained from the website called NAPRA which is nothing but the National Association of Pharmacy Regulatory Authorities. If you visit this website, there is an option to create the national ID. Once you create the national ID, you will be eligible for the further procedure of examination and qualifying exam. Step 1 is to get the national ID. After getting the national ID, step 2 is PEBC evaluation. PEBC stands for Pharmacy Examining Authority of Canada. Once you get your degree from any country, you need to submit the transcript of all mark sheet, degree certificate and good standing certificate from the state pharmacy or province pharmacy council to this PEBC examining authorities. This PEBC examining authority is certification body. This will certify all your educational credential and evaluate its equivalency with the Canadian education. The minimum qualification to get PBC evaluation done is four year duration of pharmacy education. PharmD is a six year course and that is why PharmD graduates are eligible to evaluate their degree from the PBC evaluation team. Once the national ID is obtained, one need to register in PBC website for the educational assessment. Once you submit all the mentioned document, you will get ECA report. ECA stands for Educational Credential Assessment. This report is also mandatory for the registration of examining authorities. After completion of Educational cred Credential Assessment, PEBC ID is generated. Once the PEBC ID is generated, the next procedure is to clear the three PEBC exam. This three exam are divided basically into two parts. Part one is evaluating exam and part two is qualifying exam. Qualifying exam is further divided into two exams where part one is multiple choice question based exam whereas part two is objective structured clinical examination. In part one, after generation of PBC ID and ECA report, one has to register for the evaluating exam. Now, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, one can appear for this exam in their home country at PBC recognized center. So, this exam is online and multiple choice question based exam. The syllabus of this exam is basically divided in four major subjects. First is pharmacy practice that is clinical oriented syllabus which is comprised of 50% of the whole syllabus followed by biomedical science, pharmaceutical science, socio behavioral science. These are the four pillar of a pharmacy will be evaluated in the evaluating exam. Once this evaluating exam is cleared, one can register for the qualifying exam. This qualifying exam is only conducted in Canada. So one need to obtain the visa from Canada in order to appear for this exam. 
इट कैन बी स्टूडेंट वीजा विजिटर वीजा डिपेंडेंट वीजा और अ पर्सन हैविंग परमानेंट रेसिडेंशियल स्टेटस पी बी सी क्वालिफाइंग एग्जाम इज कम्प्राइज ऑफ टू पार्ट पार्ट वन इज मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन बेस्ड एग्जाम एंड पार्ट टू इज ऑब्जेक्टिव स्ट्रक्चर्ड क्लिनिकल एग्जामिनेशन इन पार्ट वन देर इज टू सेक्शन ईच कम्प्राइज ऑफ हंड्रेड मार्क्स एंड इट विल बी अराउंड फोर पॉइंट फाइव आवर्स ड्यूरेशन इन विच ब्रेक्स आर इंक्लूडेड दिस एग्जाम इज कंडक्टेड via online system but as i said earlier one need to uh, have a valid canadian visa to give this exam and this exam is only conducted in canada after successful completion of part 1 qualifying exam part 2 qualifying exam is based on case study either interactive or in the form of non interactive sessions this exam will be conducted in two session again once each session comprised of 90 minute and then 20 minutes of break and the second session will start which is also comprised of 90 minute so this is how qualifying exam part 1 and part 2 will be conducted and the syllabus remains the same which is nothing but pharmacy practice that is the major uh, subject followed by pharmaceutical science followed by biomedical science and socio behavioral science after completion of qualifying exam one will get pbc examination clearance certificate now after completion of pbc there will be state regulatory requirements in order to get registered in the different province all different province has different requirements for the successful registration and to give the license so that step starts after completion of pbc evaluation and completion of successful completion of evaluating and qualifying exam once this certificate is produced against the province where one has to register the state will conduct several assessment which starts from english assessment english language assessment there is a different requirement in the different state in canada there are two official languages one is english and second is french so after obtaining the successful language proficiency report either from ilts or tofl one can proceed further apart from the english qualifying exam one has to study the state related medicines law which will be covered under the jurisprudence exam this jurisprudence exam will be conducted province wise and after successful completion of this jurisprudence exam one is eligible to get the license this state authority will also have certain parameters called internship so after successful completion of the pbc evaluation one has to complete around 600 hours of internship in that particular province after successful completion of that internship they will provide you the certificate and that certificate will help along with the language proficiency report and the clearance of jurisprudence exam and at the end state authority will issue the license this license will be produced against the any pharmacy store where a person can be work as a registered pharmacist the syllabus of pbc evaluating and qualifying exam is much more similar to the syllabus of farm d and that is why farm d graduates have a good chance to clear this pbc exam and can grab the lucrative opportunity from the different province being a registered pharmacist in canada if you have any query related to how to clear the pbc exam or to get evaluation done you can write us to our email or to comment in this comment box if you like the content of this video please let us know your review and suggestion in the comment box to get this kind of video in future subscribe the channel like the video 
and press the bell icon.